stones also. So instead of a description of the uh, just one hand specimen here, you are going to describe a chunk of this outcrop. So this, and there's more than one thing here, so you're going to have now a combo description where you're going to be describing two, maybe three different things. This, this outcrop exposes gray something <laughs> interbedded with some tan other stuff. And um, I'm going to show you who's got a hammer. I'm going to show you how you deal with mud rocks. Ugh. First thing, I came, I stopped here on purpose. Um, down it. the road, you've actually got some decent exposure. But here we have a perfect. Here we have um, what, I, you know, this is actually kind of the exposure you get with a typical mud rock. That's a good one. That's good. Yeah, you, yeah, you can't see too much. And so what you mostly have to do in order to see a good mud rock is this. And you need to get in the habit, if you're working in areas with poor exposure, of excavating a little so you can get down to where you're getting chips of the real stuff. So it's not just weathering stuff coming down the hill. And here, it's pretty much the same. It's a little darker. And instead of puffy looking, it's this nice chips. And how a, and you guys are gonna hate this, how a sedimentologist <laughs> studies mud rocks in the field is this. Mm. There are three, as we will discover, there are three, well, two basic kinds of mud rocks. There are clay stones and there are um, silt stones. Silt stones, if you have many, if you've been to the dentist and they do your teeth cleaning, silt stones taste like that, like that grit that's on your teeth and they polish your teeth. That's what silt stones are like. It'll grit. If you have a sandstone, it's going to hurt or break your teeth. So don't do it with a sandstone. <laughs> and, and bite carefully. So be very gentle with those first bites. Clay stones are smooth and creamy and uh, delicious. Huh. Yeah. McDonald's milkshake. That's yeah. what they are. <laughs> yeah. And so, and then you'll have a, a spectrum in between. So you, if you have in, something that's mostly smooth and creamy, and got a little huh. bit of silt, that would be a silty clay stone. If something's mostly gritty, but you taste some nice stuff in there, then that's a clay silt stone. Simple enough. There's one other descriptive term. If your rock like this breaks into little flakes, we have a special term for that, regardless of whether it's a silt stone or a clay stone, it's called a, a, sh it's called a uh, shale. And so this would be a shale because it breaks into little flakes. So go describe you a chunk of this outcrop here. Watch out if you're under one of those overhanging sandstones. Don't go digging under them. I don't want anybody having a rock fall on them. Um, but describe, describe me this interval here. These here are called beds. And so you would say, I have gray, silty, clay stone, gray, silty, clay shale, because it's a shale, with beds of fine-grained, well-sorted, subangular sandstone. I'm making all this up. Um, actually, beds of tan, fine-grained, well-sorted, subangular sandstone. There are three or four different kinds of rocks in here. So um, have fun and go to it. Try and be a little quicker than last time. <laughs> so we, well, you guys are, are get, now you have experience. <laughs> and, we'll do a strike and dip here too, but yeah, we'll keep going to your descriptions and then we'll worry about structure. And then uh, the other thing is, is you need now to add in thicknesses. So these would be 10 centimeter thick bed, tan beds of 
Have fun. You can't describe it sitting there. You have to look at the rock. Yeah, you, you have to actually.